Hi guys, get in the know with Toya. So I'm um, at the park right now and just walking, getting a little exercise. I never made my chili in my gourmet pot before. I've cooked many other things in my gourmet pot, but I've never made my chili in my gourmet pot. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Um, when I get home, I'm gonna get everything together so that I can start making the chili. And I'm going to, I'm going to definitely be using ground turkey. So I'll just let you guys see how that comes out. So let me do a couple of more laps and then I'll just head back home. Later guys. I finally made it home. So that was a good workout at the um, trail earlier but I did not stop at the store and pick up anything. I basically just looked in my pantry, see what I had, and in my refrigerator, I knew I had an onion in there. I knew I had green peppers and red peppers, so I just took and chopped that up so we can get ready to make this chili. I also had some oyster crackers. And I think you can get these from Walmart. They also at the Dollar Tree as well. I have ground cumin. I have some paprika. Some black pepper, of course. And some chili powder. I have some onion powder. I have some garlic powder. I also have diced tomatoes with green peppers, celery, and onions. So I have a couple of cans of these and I'm going to use the pinto beans. I also have some corn. I usually use frozen corn, but I didn't have any frozen corn, but I did have this can of corn. So, hey, I'm going to work with that. And I also have the dark red kidney beans. Other things that I have is some jalapeno peppers, which is in my refrigerator. I also have some shredded cheese. I have some sour cream, and I also have some green onion that I chopped up, which is in the refrigerator as well. But you know, those things like the sour cream and cheese, that's stuff that you can add once you get ready to eat your chili. Some people may want sour cream, some people may not. Some people may want the shredded cheese and some may not. And in the skillet right here, I put the ground turkey to start cooking so I can get that out the way. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start adding my seasoning to the ground turkey. Okay, so first I am going to add some garlic powder to this. And then I'm going to add some onion powder to this. And I'm going to add some ground cumin to this. And uh, paprika. Make sure we get this meat seasoned up. And black pepper. Now, once this cook, I'm actually going to just, um, you know, cook all of the seasoning that I chopped up, my onion and green pepper and red pepper, because I wanted to get a little soft. So I always, you know, put it in the skillet first and just let it cook for a little bit. And I also have minced garlic that I'm going to add to that as well. I don't know if I mentioned the minced garlic earlier. And once that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and put everything together in the gamia pot. As you can see, this is the gamia pot right here. It's sitting, it is waiting, because I'm going to just put everything right on in there. And you guys, basically, everything is almost cooked when you think about it, you know? 
you know, once you cook your meat and then you just add all of your other ingredients, it's not going to take very long. It's a really quick meal. You just have to make sure that you just prep you know everything like just chopping up whatever seasonings you want to put in there some people you know they put mushrooms in their chili you know it just depends on what you like and usually i would add the jalapeno peppers to my chili but you know when other people are going to eat it they may feel it's too spicy so with chili, once you fix your chili for yourself, you can always, you know, go back and add um, a little bit more spice to it by adding some spice seasonings. And you can add your jalapeno peppers to your particular bowl of chili. So, and chili can be used so many different ways. Some people make their chili and they just eat it by it like it is, just a bowl of chili. And then there are some people who like to eat it with some crackers. Some people like to eat it with chips. Some people may fix their chili and put it on some fries and add a little cheese, you know? So it just depends on how you want to eat your chili. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish with this this is basically almost done I don't have too much longer so once this get done I am going to go ahead and add all of my chopped seasoning to the skillet and get that done and then we can start putting everything in the gourmet pot And I just put a little bit of olive oil so that I can put all of my chopped seasoning in here. I guess that'll be okay. I'm not making a really big pot of chili, but I guess that would be okay or the amount of seasoning that I have. And I'm just kind of cooking this so I can get a little soft. So. And I also have some minced garlic that I will be adding to this as well. Got a head of garlic. I love my onion and my garlic. I feel like I can't cook without it. Like it's missing if I just wouldn't have it with any of my meals. I have to have my onion and garlic. I don't know why. I love fresh chopped seasoning added to meals. You guys it really 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 kicks up the flavor so if you're the type of person who don't like green peppers and red peppers and onions and orange peppers yellow peppers whatever please just try it with your food gives it an extra kick of flavor Okay, this is almost done for me. Now, let's go check out this gourmet pot. Okay, so this is the gourmet pot right here. This gourmet pot, you guys, I love it. I have an instant pot as well, and I love that as well. You know, so if you don't have a gourmet pot or an instant pot, I don't know what you're waiting for, but they definitely come in handy when you're trying to cook things and if you have to clean it's just so convenient and it cooks the food really well so i am going to start adding some of the other things like my beans and tomatoes and stuff i already put 
the seasoning as you can see so I'm just gonna start adding the beans And depending on how many people you're making this for, that will determine how many cans of beans you may need. It just depends on the amount of people. Let me get my spoon. Stir this up. Okay, I have more to add, so I'm going to add the rest to this as well. Everything is added, even the ground turkey. Now, I did add some chicken broth, I added more onion powder. I added more cumin, some paprika, and some garlic powder and black pepper. So I'm just stirring this up. And I'm gonna add parsley, but not right now, later. And I am also going to add the chili powder. Let me just stir this up. Oh, it smells so good. It even start cooking yet, and it smells good. And also, as far as with the type of beans you put in here, if you don't like pinto beans, you don't have to put pinto bean. You can just use the red kidney beans. You know, I just put a mixture of both. You know, I like both, so it doesn't bother me at all. And also, some people like to put the stewed tomatoes in the can. Some people like the fire roasted tomatoes in a can. That's another thing that, you know, it just depends on what you like. Only reason why I chose the diced tomatoes with the green chili peppers is because I was trying to ease some spice in you guys. Because like I said, I can't put my jalapeno peppers because people are gonna complain and say that it's too spicy. So yeah, we're gonna let this cook and we're gonna check on it later. The chili is all done. I removed it from the gourmet pot. Now, I did forget to let you know that the gourmet pot have a button on it that says beans. So it automatically sets to 40, but instead of doing a whole 40, because I didn't need this to cook that long, you can actually do maybe 23 to 26, and that's it, minutes. So you don't need to go to whole 40, but of course, when you hit beans, it's like just an automatic set time that they have. But this is it. I just um, added some, uh, well, just a dash of salt and a little bit more pepper and um, some paprika and uh, some more garlic and onion powder and I always do that when I take it out the gourmet pot of course any meal that I make in a gourmet pot I add just a little bit more seasoning once it once it finish so I also just went ahead and added some parsley as well and basically this is it right here guys I just added some jalapenos of course and some green onion a little bit of shredded cheese and a little bit of sour cream but guys it smells so good i cannot wait to dig in like i said it was very simple 
while while the chili was cooking i actually went on ahead and i was mopping the floors and i got that out the way and now i can just sit down and relax so i hope you try this meal if not you don't want to try this particular um chili recipe you can go ahead and just make your chili in your gourmet pot if you have one or if you have an instant pot and if you have something else to do whether it's just some household cleaning you know whatever it may be you can get that done while the food is cooking so guys thank you for tuning into the video please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and hey don't forget to leave a comment and i will see you guys next time because i'm going to eat